returning to our original example uh, where the rate of change of temperature is negative 0 0.028 times t minus 80 uh, remembering that this just allows us to substitute uh, temperature big T in to get the rate at which temperature is changing and we recall that if we substitute big T equals 150 that we get a rate of change of negative 2 degrees per second and we assume that this occurs at T equals 0. Then over a delta T of 5 seconds we have a change in temperature a uh, change in clock time of 5 seconds, we have a change in big T temperature of negative 10 degrees. And 5 seconds at negative 2 degrees per second gives us negative 10 degree change. This then gives us a temperature of 140. At clock time T equals 5 with a rate of negative 1.68 degrees per second. And so on. Okay? Now don't worry about this in red here just yet. Now, your assignment of course was to continue this process until the temperature falls below 100 degrees which happens somewhere around the eighth step of this process. We noted that we're actually overestimating how fast the temperature changes when we do this because if temperature is 150 and the rate is negative 2 degrees per second at that instant it's going to decrease as the temperature falls down to 140 it's actually going to decrease to somewhere in the neighborhood of negative 1.68 degrees per second although it won't quite get that far because if it doesn't decrease as fast it's not going to go down quite as low as 140. In order to get a better idea of this I ask you to calculate from t equals 0 to 5 by increments of one second using the same initial condition uh, temperature at time t equals 0 is 150 and we again start off with a rate of negative 2 degrees per second but on an increment of only one second we only get a temperature change of negative 2 degrees so that at t equals one minute the temperature is 148. We would then take this 148 degrees put it back into the formula here and get another rate which we would apply for one second and get a delta t and we continue on down to five uh, to, to clock time five minutes where we get a temperature of 140.8 degrees which is a little higher than the 140 as we would have expected. Now we might ask how could we use this information to get a more accurate picture? Well, if we say that the temperature is going to be close to 140 so that the rate is going to end up close to negative 1.68 degrees per second we could average these two rates and if we average these two rates, we get an average rate of negative 1.84. This corrects for the corrects to an extent for the error we have in assuming that the rate stays at negative 2 degrees per second for the whole time. It actually gives us a slightly lower rate based on these two temperatures. Uh, this temperature that's predicted by the 5 second uh, interval at negative 2 degrees per second and the rate at that time which we used to correct this temperature. So that if we have this average rate of negative 1.84 degrees per second implicitly then at clock time t equals 5 we're going to get 140.8 because a 5 second interval at negative 1.84 gives us a change of 9.2 degrees precisely giving us the same result we got before but in only one step essentially instead of five steps like we had to do here. So we call this calculation the predictor and this process the corrector and we call this a predictor-corrector process.